How's everybody doing? Yeah. I, I'm excited. <laughs> My name is Ruben Hernandez. Uh, I've been performing comedy for a couple months now. And like, you learn a few things. Like, I learned there's a spot to stand on stage to get laughs. See, it's not right here. It's right here. See, funny? Not funny. <laughs> funny? Not funny. When I found out, I was like, oh, it's common sense. <laughs> Tell you a little about myself. Uh, I've been pumping iron, working out, because whenever I get into a fight, the old me runs away. Now, the new me runs away a lot faster. <laughs> I'm just trying my best not be paranoid all the time. Like, you ever go into a fast food place, and you get a drink and you fill it up, but instead of grabbing the top lid, you get the one below it? What's wrong with that top lid? I don't know, I don't know. But I ain't gonna take that chance. You ever feel weird when there's only one lid left? Five, Maybe at the top lid. It just makes its way down to the bottom. I don't know, I don't know. You ever go and buy a drink at the store and you open it up, but then you feel like it's already been opened already? Like it was too quick to open? You gotta ask the people around you, hey, did anybody guys open this drink? I need to know, it's important, in case I'm going to die. <laughs> you ever go to a party, and you get a drink, and you drink, and you put it down, and you leave it, and you come back and drink it again, but then you feel like you might have drank someone else's drink? Like, it's like, did I put it right here? Or right here? Uh, did I drink a roofie? Is this fear factor? Oh, no. They, they say paranoid people believe that Arab is out to get them. Yeah. That's what they want you to think. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you what I think about things. Like, I think there's a conspiracy going on with the Crayola people. Even the box of crayons, there's 120 colors now. I don't think they invent that many colors. In fact, I think they're just relabeling the old colors. Like, they have colors like Tickle Me Pink, Piggy Pink, and Pink Flamingo. That's all just pink. <laughs> they, they have colors like Canary, Banana, and Lemon. That's all just yellow. <laughs> What's next? They relabel the color white and call it blank. You go to the store, hey, do you have this shirt in blank? Crayola thinks it's a color. Maybe all those restaurants what they give you is right. Maybe there are only four colors. I don't know, I don't know. I perform only open mics, and one time this guy came up to me, he's all like, none of your stuff is funny except for that porno joke. And I started thinking, I didn't have a porno joke, but I better go write one so I can accept that compliment. And then I started thinking, what was the first time I encountered porn? I remember it was in a box in my dad's room, and when I opened it up, it felt so forbidden. Like I was over at the Ark from Minneapolis Jones, like white light pops out, a ghost is flying, this is forbidden, a boulder's rolling down. You know, growing up, I had my own stash of porn, which I thought was my own little secret, but everybody in my house knew about it. And if you have brothers, damn sure they know about it. They will find it. Like you be yelling at them, hey, stay out of my room! But what you're really saying is, stay out of my porn! <laughs> Like, even my mom knew about it, but she won't tell me. She was keeping an arsenal for later, in case we get in an argument. That's right, mom, tire your rules, I'm out of this house. Oh yeah? Well, take your partners with you. How does she know about that? I hit him really good, I hit him really good. The weirdest thing happened to me last night. I was driving my car and this woman ran through my window screaming that a man's chasing her with a knife. And I did the bravest thing I can imagine. I locked the doors and drove off. I think it takes a lot of guts, leaving her for a death like that. You know, you know what's funny thing about being in cars? Like, you ever been in a car, say with your family, and then you see another car, the exact same thing as your car, like same make, same model, same color. Don't you have to point it out? Oh look, there's our car, there's our car. Like you're all amazed, there's another car exactly like yours. And then like you have to go up there and look who's driving it. Like, hey, is that us? <laughs> Like you're all amazed, and then like they look back, you see the people inside the car, they're looking back at you. Hey, is that us? <laughs> Tell me something very personal. Last year I was hit by a car. That's fun, right? Yeah. In opposite land. 
That's right, that's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> and the ones who didn't laugh in opposite land, you gotta give me a standing ovation. <sighs> the sucky thing about walking nowadays, like not only when you're walking across the street, you have to make eye contact with the driver, you also have to do like a cheerleading move, like I'm walking across the street. Please do not hit me. He leans from the car. Keep it down, I'm on the phone. Thank you. Thank you. One minute, okay. I want to talk about girls. Because apparently they're complicated. Here's a tip for you fellas I just learned. Whenever you see a girl you like, don't follow them home. They really, really, really don't like that. They say girls are attracted to a guy with sense of humor, but then they also say they're attracted to bad boys. So if that's true, after this set, I'm gonna steal the microphone. Cause I'm a bad boy comedy, yeah, yeah. Whenever I approach a girl, I always wanna make her feel safe. So the first thing I say is, I have a gun. <laughs> Are you guys on a date? You guys together? I, I was just recently on a date. Everything was going good until I started to speak. I took her to the park, one because it was romantic, and plus I didn't have any money. And the first thing that went in my head just said, you know, this is the exact same park where that guy killed that girl. It's called learning, right? It's called learning. All right, you guys. Let me tell you one more thing. Um, uh, you know, like, um, uh, going back to girls, okay. Like, I'm always putting my foot in my mouth with girls. Like I met this one girl at the pier and we started talking about stargazing and I don't know anything about stars. Like I don't even look at them. When I go outside, I look down when I walk because I'm depressed. Yeah. She asked me, oh, what's one of your favorite constellations? I couldn't think of one, so I said, oh, I love them all. And then she said, even Orion? And I'm like, why'd she say it that way? What's wrong with Orion? They're all stars, right? What is Orion a jerk to all the other stars? Yeah, give it back. Give it back. You guys are losers. I'm Orion. But then I thought, oh, Orion just misunderstood, like me. And then I felt like I had to defend Orion to her. And I was like, you know what? Leave Orion alone. He probably had a tough time in high school, especially when Wendy said she had a problem with him. But then she went with Derek instead. And he had to stay home and listen to Celine Dion all by myself. And then I realized stargazing is a very emotional experience for me. Thank you guys, my name is Ruben Hernandez, thank you.